mangled metal, which is all that is left after a police chase ends in a deadly crash. Glad you're with us tonight for Local 4 News at 11. Two people were killed in that crash as it uh, as that car went into a tree on Detroit's west side. Jermont Terry is live at the scene tonight, and this all started with a traffic stop over seatbelts, Jermont. You're right, Kimberly. The trooper apparently saw this guy driving without a seatbelt, and he never imagined that it would end like this. Now, this is the tree that this crash ended into. State police telling us that dash cam video shows that the lights and sirens were on. Apparently, in the middle of this chase, this car trying to run from police hit two other vehicles before crashing right into this tree tonight. It's hard to make out this was a Chrysler 300. Two people were inside when he came speeding down Ashton just off the Southfield Freeway. As soon as I came out the house, I seen him flying and then I seen the state police chasing him with the lights on. State police spotted the driver on the freeway not wearing a seat belt. When the trooper tried pulling the car over, the driver got off the freeway. He drove right into this west side neighborhood. But he was going really fast, like 100 and something. So I knew something was about to happen. The preliminary investigation shows the driver stopped briefly, but never put the car in park. So as the troopers got on the PA system, uh, kind of warned them, hey, take your foot off the brake. We're just come up to talk to you real quick. Uh, the individual decided to run, uh, took off at a very high rate of speed. Uh, troopers uh, started to pursue behind him with the uh, lights and sirens activated. The chase down the residential neighborhood did not go far. A block later, the car lost control, slamming into a tree, splitting it in half. It knocked the engine several feet away. I didn't want to get too close because there was a lot of smoke, so I didn't know if the thing was going to blow up or not. The impact killed the driver and passenger instantly. I, I say if you got if they're chasing just pull over man you know it's not worth losing your life over over you know a ticket we have to go tell these people's family now that that they're dead because one of them didn't have a seatbelt on and decided to to run from the police now police just removed that vehicle that was towed away on two separate flatbed beds trucks that's how bad this car was damaged neighbors tell me they're just thankful none of the children who were playing on this block were injured we can report tonight that no troopers were hurt as well reporting live on the city's west side jermont terry local four well that's good news jermont but i am wondering i mean this seems like a lot to go through uh, just for not wearing a seat belt no. uh, but do troopers think that this car maybe was stolen <laughs> no, Kimberly, apparently they we know the car was at Ohio license plates, but it did not come back as a stolen vehicle from Michigan or Ohio. Mm -hmm. And right now they're just trying to figure out who the people were because they were pretty badly yeah. pinned yeah. in this vehicle yeah. tonight. I understand. I understand. Okay, Jermont, we appreciate it.